Welcome to the Crypto Quantum Mental Coinbase and Coinbase Pro exchange review. This is part of my exchange review series where I analyze multiple cryptocurrency exchanges and I grade them across multiple criteria and you're able to compare and contrast which uh, exchange does what well and uh, what other exchanges do uh, the same criteria, same uh, issue very poorly. So let's uh, jump into the grading criteria. So I have six main categories where I go through and grade each of these exchanges, in this case, Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. So I look at the depth of the coins offered, liquidity, analysis, charting tools, order types, fees and customer service, security regulation, and I grade them uh, on a five point scale, bad, below average, average, above average, and good. And I've linked them up with a visual uh, crypto logo. So bad is BitConnect, which is scam, doesn't get much worse than that. And good is uh, the Bitcoin logo. So what about depth of coins for Coinbase and Coinbase Pro? I rated this average. And if I did this six months ago or a year ago, it would have been below average or maybe even bad. If I do this in a year, Coinbase might actually be above average because they're actively adding a lot more coins and they've been doing so over the past couple of months. So right now you have about 10 plus coins on Pro. Uh, not all jurisdictions get all coins, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and they have an awful lot of pairings, which is really good. It can get kind of confusing though, but they have lots of fiat pairs, uh, a fair amount of Bitcoin pairs, but not all altcoins get a Bitcoin pair, so you have to keep that in mind. So it can get kind of tricky uh, trying to figure out you know, how to to go from an altcoin into Bitcoin, into a stable coin, into fiat. Uh, it's, it's not straightforward just because there's doesn't always really seem to be much of a rhyme or reason on what pairing each coin gets. But overall, there is actually quite a few pairings that they offer. And regular Coinbase is actually fairly stripped down. So Coinbase Pro has uh, quite a few more coins. Uh, regular Coinbase is still, at the time of this, is just, I believe, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Ethereum Classic, I believe, uh, if I remember correctly. So uh, over time, they plan on adding more, but uh, right now, if you want to get you know, more access to coins, you definitely have to join Coinbase Pro. Now, what about liquidity and volume? Here you can see the Bitcoin logos, which are really very good. Uh, very high liquidity across all major coins and really pretty good liquidity across virtually all pairs. And like I mentioned, they have a lot of interesting pairs. It could be alt to fiat, alt to Bitcoin, um, stable coins in there too. So uh, pretty solid liquidity across virtually all of them. And I might be jumping the gun a bit because I have this in the fee section as well, but the spread paid on regular Coinbase is very, very high. So even though the order book spread is, is pretty decent, they actually, uh, crush you pretty bad if you're buying on regular Coinbase and not Coinbase Pro, so use caution there. Analysis and charting tools, uh, I've rated this below average, but uh, it's, it's creeping up to the average section here because of a very new initiative through earn.com, which is an educational initiative on new coins and just teaching new people about their new offerings. I think that's fantastic. I think we need more educational tools, just teaching people about you know, how crypto works, how certain coins work, uh, the protocols, you know, things like that. So the fact that Coinbase is doing that through earn.com is good, but it's really new. It's, it's just a few weeks old. So we have to see how that shakes out. In terms of cons, charting is pretty weak on pro, especially given it's supposed to be a pro exchange and completely non-existent on regular Coinbase. There's no portfolio analytics and you know overall even though they have earn.com now i think the educational tools are pretty weak especially the fact that they stripped down uh, coinbase to the bare bones they market it and designed coinbase to be for the average joe to make very easy great user experience i would expect that they would have more educational tools for the average Joe on a site like Coinbase. I mean, I get not having a ton on something like Coinbase Pro, 
But for Coinbase, I think they should be going above and beyond. And I don't think they are yet, but Earn.com, uh, teaching about their new offerings, is certainly a really good step in the right direction. So the score might get bumped up over time. You know, order types. Uh, here it's, again, the difference between Coinbase Pro and Coinbase. On Coinbase Pro, they offer uh, pretty basic stops, uh, limit orders, market orders. So pretty, pretty low here. It's overall below average. But the fact that they at least offer stops is a good, something's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, the cons, no leverage, no shorting. Uh, really no contingent orders besides the stop I mentioned before. And in terms of regular Coinbase, they don't really offer anything. Get a user experience, kind of put in, you know, how much money you have and how much you want to buy. And you click go. That's nice, but a very, very limited flexibility uh, for uh, anybody that's not uh, basically just starting out. Fees and customer service. So this is where uh, Coinbase is bad and you see the BitConnect logo. It's not necessarily due to customer service, it's really due to fees. So first I'll actually talk about the positive. This is on Coinbase Pro where you get free limit orders. So that's fantastic. So I always recommend, you know, if you have money on in the Coinbase ecosystem to transfer it over to Coinbase Pro and take advantage of these free limit orders. However, everything besides that is really, really poor from a fee standpoint on Coinbase. And I actually think they, they really hammer and crush the average Joe retail investor that's uh, you know, putting money in on Coinbase. And in a lot of ways, I don't think that's fair to them, but that's, it is what it is. So let's talk about the fees. So on Coinbase Pro, it's free limit orders, but 0.3% or 30 basis point market order fee. That's pretty darn high. So keep that in mind. You always want to do limit orders where you where you can. Coinbase Pro. What about regular Coinbase? They charge you a 50 basis point or 0.5% spread to buy on regular Coinbase. That's really, really, really high if if you haven't already heard the tone of my voice, how I think that's just you know, a joke, but it is what it is. So you have 0.5% spread, and then if you're using as a fiat uh, on-ramp, you have another flat or variable fee on top, expect about 1.5%. So overall, if you're you know depositing USD, and you're trying to buy Bitcoin, you're probably paying about 2%. That's absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, since it's marketed towards the average Joe, uh, that's kind of taking advantage of them in many ways. And then also uh, your fiat or a new purchase might be locked up for longer than what you'd expect, mainly because the money has to clear, it kind of is what it is, but just keep that in mind. Although you could probably typically still transfer from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro. What about security and regulation? This is where Coinbase absolutely shines. So uh, here you see up top, I have the ICO rating security of exchange report uh, data listed and Coinbase rates one out of 100, the best. So even though I was very negative on the fee section, very positive here, really commend Coinbase for what they've done from a security standpoint. So if you're worried about you know, leaving money on exchanges, maybe you don't not very confident in setting up your own wallet as an example, uh, Coinbase is the best place to do it. Uh, highest rated, safest. Uh, I generally do not recommend leaving money or coins on exchanges, but if you have to, uh, Coinbase is the best place to do so. Final score here, above average. If you want to give it a shot, uh, I have a link in the description and why would you want to give it a shot? Really, you want a fiat on ramp to get your money into the crypto ecosystem. Coinbase is a fantastic you know, place to generally do that from a user experience. Although on regular Coinbase, you are getting crushed by the fees and the fees on Coinbase Pro are still high for market order. So you keep that in mind. Uh, so that's certainly a negative. And why else would you want to join Coinbase? Well, 
Security is fantastic. So it's the safest place to leave your coins, you know, on exchange, even though I don't recommend that, but it is the safest place. And then also they've been adding coins. So you're not just stuck with the absolute, you know, major coins, you start dabbling in the altcoin ecosystem. So overall you're, you're getting uh, quite a bit in terms of access to coins, high liquidity, free limit orders, you know, high security, all makes Coinbase uh, almost a must have for especially US based investors. Again, thank you for joining my Coinbase review here. And please follow me at CryptoQF on Twitter. Definitely check out the other exchange reviews as well. So you can compare and contrast some grades between exchanges, kind of give you an idea you know, how I'm rating uh, the various exchanges. Uh, if you check out Coinbase, yeah, definitely uh, click the description and the link to sign up. And also comment below and let me know about your experience. Thanks again and take care.